Am I on? Here we are with uh, Dick Sunsdahl's 1949 John Deere Model G, 428 cubic inch with a six-speed transmission. Um, we're trying to get Dick over here to talk a little bit about uh, this tractor and why he's working on this particular tractor restoration. But you can see he's started it, he's in process, uh, it's starting to look pretty good. He's getting real close on putting a new paint job on this thing, it looks like, and um, it's really a nice, nice looking tractor, nice, looks like good shit, great restoration. Sunsdall, he finally made it over here to talk to his John Deere 1949 tractor. What's the scoop on the restoration with this tractor, Dick? And, and why did you bring this to the third annual Drive Your Toy to Work Day uh, show here at MRG Tool and Die? Well, first I heard that uh, it was a bring your toy day and not necessarily that it had to be a car. Okay. But it had, it had to be something that you were you liked or it was a toy or something you were working on and I thought you know I have put hundreds of hours of work in this tractor probably more than any other toy that I have ever worked on definitely more than a car that included a totally rebuilt from mechanically all the way up to the body work and getting it ready for painting and I have got so much time and money into this tractor, I've told my kids it's going to have to go with the estate because you'll never get money back out of it for what I'm putting in. <laughs> now, now, why is this your is this a, your first tractor restoration or have you done tractor? First before? total restoration of a tractor. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. But I've worked on it. Going into second childhood. Oh, you know, okay. when I was a teenager, I worked in the John Deere garage on tractors and, oh, okay. and now I'm, I'm reliving that experience. <laughs> that part of your life, huh? Yeah, yeah. I see. And, and what's it like going back there? I mean, are you picking up where you left off? I tell you what, I never thought it would be such great satisfaction. Really? Yeah, eight hours go by in 15 minutes, just is, like that, and I don't there? have enough time to work on it. That's the problem. Now, what's what's the target date now for uh, getting this thing in show shape? Next I, spring. I, next spring. Right, but yeah. I do plan to plow with it this fall. Really? As you see it there. Wow, wow. Uh, with bad rubber. Wow. Yeah. That's I good. bought two plows for it, so it doesn't feel bad. Now, the vintage uh, plows, too, then, from the same era, 49 or? Uh, approximately in the mid-40s, yeah. I bought one three-bottom plow from Roger Schultz and another uh, three-bottom Oliver plow from uh, another farmer nearby. Okay. So I've got an Oliver and a John Deere plow to put behind it that belong with it. Oh, okay. Of that era. <laughs> oh. One's a hydraulic lift and one's a mechanical lift. Wow. Jeez, you're getting kind of your own implement thing. Well, what I'll there. do is what I'll do is load it up and I'll drive around asking farmers if I can plow for them free, no charge. Really? Yeah, I need to have something like that Just to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Maybe we should run an ad for you, <laughs> Dick. Dick, you want? What's your number now, Dick? You got your phone. Get Dick. Put your phone, phone number on here. He's three. Come on, go ahead. Give us your oh, phone number. Yes. What's your phone number? Call yeah, if, if you need some plowing need some plow. done, just call me. No, no charge. Dick Sunsdall. 334 8966. There you go. That's 334 8966. Thanks, Dick. Thank you very much. Yep. Thanks for the interview. Yep. See you later. <laughs>